One thing you might want to do is look at the uh, THD of your system. So we've looked at transient response, we've looked at AC analysis. So I'll just go back and comment that out. And if you want to do a Fourier analysis, so look at the different harmonic components, then if you enable this script here, it does a transient analysis, but it also does a Fourier analysis for us. And that's what this dot four is. And it also includes the libigans. If I run this, now, with this, this is the transient analysis window because we've we've asked it to to uh, give us some uh, transient data. So we can we can click on things and we'll get exactly the same result as we did before. It gives us no more. But what we're interested in is looking at this data, this Fourier analysis data. Now, the only way we can look at that is by right clicking and viewing the spice error log. Might seem a bit counterintuitive, but that's where the data is dumped for the Fourier analysis. So if we look at that, whoa, what we'll see is the harmonic. So it's testing with a one kilohertz wave, and it's testing with a one kilohertz wave because we've asked it to here. Uh, and these are the Fourier components. Uh, it gives you the phase relationship. And it gives you the, uh, this is effectively the, the magnitude. So as you'd expect, we're seeing a uh, two volt output, um, which is what we saw previously with the input. And this is what they call the normalized co component. So normalized being it's the uh, signal itself divided by the fundamental. So you get it's at the value of one or as we'd expect zero dB. And these are all the um, harmonic distortion coefficients. So actually, if you if you copy these values into MATLAB and plot them versus frequency, you will get a nice THD plot. Pretty good to see. And you'll see down here, this is the uh, total harmonic distortion that is produced. As you can see, it's really, really low for this circuit, which is a good thing. And, you know, you can, you can experiment. You'll see these values changing somewhat with the... Uh, you, if, if, for example, you built an amplifier and it was single stage and then multi stage, you can see the differences in terms of distortion characteristics and how you can improve that distortion. You're looking to get it as low as you possibly can.